allowing ourselves to drop into that moment and being present with the child that you're working with. Um, whether you're working with a whole classroom or not, there's that moment where you can just stop with the kid. And that's why I have my three rules. And everyone, I'm always listening. I have rules, and everyone's like, you have rules? <laughs> like, I have very important rules. And these are my rules. Everyone is an artist. And working with this one, and I, I, in my curriculum, I'm actually going to make sure that this is something that kids actually have to like print out and color themselves and own to themselves. Because it's not just that person over there who's an artist. Mm -hmm. And exploring what art means and allowing ourselves to express ourselves, I think, is really powerful. Because what I've noticed is that no matter who is marking the page, you're doing polka dots. Maybe you're just going bam, 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 bam. If you do it, it was totally different than when I do it. If you do it, it was totally different than when you do it. It's literally how your hand marks the page. It's different. And that's part of who we are. And then taking that and expanding it, so showing me what your life is about and what your life is about beyond the marking and how you mark, then is kind of like that entry point. Um, my second rule is there's never a right or a wrong way to make art. I think it's really important um, because, again, fourth grade is a tricky age for some reason. It's like, oh, it's got to look like this. And it's got to look like that. I've got to get it right. Oh, I did the eyes. Oh, I'm going to follow this up and throw it away because it's no good. It doesn't look the way I imagined it. And um, opening up that sometimes our greatest mistakes end up being our best art and really allowing that to be there. Um, my last one is art is always an act of courage. This one, I actually got this role from the classroom because I would see these kids with the, I can't, I can't. And I'd just be like, okay. I'd be like kind of overwhelmed initially and be like, how do I like be present with this? And I was like, oh, I just be present with it. I just like drop into that I can't and just be there. And what I found is the most powerful thing, I think children literally shift within the course of a class. I often only have an hour with a kid. It's very seldom that I get to work with a kid over a period of time. That I have one year where I have three schools that I got um, to go in every month. So I thought a really big evolution occur. But often, I only have that little tiny slip in, right? And so I want all of my um, curriculum is, I, is very simple and it's very um, powerful because that's all I have. I don't have a lot of time with that. So how to leave that mark? So I'd be like, oh, you can't. I was like, well, of course you can't. Art is always an act of courage. How many paintings have I done? I've done hundreds of paintings. And I'll still hit that blank page and be like, what am I going to do? How do I do this? And it's like, oh, that <laughs> part of the creative process is that it's being raised. Being creative is being courageous. And I have seen children hear that, be like, oh, you're having a moment of courage. You're afraid. That's clear. That makes perfect sense. But that's courage. There's courage underneath that. And just saying that, and a lot of times I'll just go down and I'll sit. I'll just be like, oh, well, let's just be with that moment. Let's just be with that courage for a second. Every single time I've done that, I've seen a kid complete that project and be completely proud of these with And that 